Hello there, it's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm creating this really bright and fun card that's using the Timeless Tropical set from the new mini catalogue by Stamping Up. I'm just going to be using this one, this one and this sentiment up here for this card. Let me show you how to do it. I'm going to start off with the flower first. And I've got some scrap piece of Whisper White. I just ink that up using Memento and I'm going to stamp it twice on the Whisper White before getting to work with the blends. <laughs> My day is so much better whenever I can think that the cards I'm using, I'm going to be using blends with. And I've found it's a bit of an addiction. You start off with the basic colours of blends that you might need. And then you just need another one. And another one. And another one. Until you get completely addicted with them. But they're awesome. So I'm going to be colouring these together. I'm using the Dark and Light Mango Medley. The Dark and Light Flirty Flamingo. The Light Calypso Coral. And then I've got the Pineapple Punch Dark. The Light and Dark... Um, so saffron and my colour lifter so I'm going to be using quite a few colours with this but I'm going to work through it I'm going to start off in the middle with the high, um, flirty flamingo and I'm just going to go from the inside out with just some long strokes at the edges and do the same on both of them Try and go quickly with this because I don't think you want to sit there watching me colour. I'm going to take the um, light Calypso Coral now, no, Pumpkin Pie. I'm just going to feed that through the Flirty Flamingo. Once I've done that, I'm just going to go through the outer bits as well, the shading that's already on the stamp set. I'm just going to use the pumpkin pie to colour those in. So therapeutic using these. It really, really is. There we go. I'm going to come back in with the Flirty Flamingo dark and just around the middle. The thing with the blends is it's the build up of colour that makes them really pop. So you just want, you can't put enough colour on these. And for this one, you are better using the brush tip because you are wanting to blend and cover a large space. But yeah, keep building the colour up over the top. Once I've finished with that, I'm going to be playing with the Mango Medley. And I'm going to put the Mango Medley next to the Pumpkin Pie just to build up that colour. With these being alcohol markers, the more alcohol marker you put over the top, the more it shifts the colour, the more it changes it. So if you think you've gone wrong, just play over the top of it and keep going back. This is the Light Mango Medley, and I'm going to run that over the tips of the flowers now. You'll notice there's a big colour difference between the bottom and the top. Don't worry. We'll sort that out in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Dark So Saffron now, and I'm going to be using that in circles. So instead of going up as a stroke, I'm going to keep going around in circles just to mix all the colours in together. So that it 
eyes quite nicely. It doesn't matter when you're doing this if you're going outside the lines on these ones because you're going to be fussy cutting them out. Normally if you're doing it on a normal card you're going to want to be careful but it means I'm fussy cutting the plant the flowers out. I really don't mind if it goes over the lines at all. And that's just blended the colours in so you can see the difference between the ones that's not blended with the so saffron over the top and the one that is and this one just pops whereas this one looks a bit shabby so let's just finish that up. using the light so saffron just at the top and then I'm going to come in and go over with the colour lifter and the colour lifter I'm just going to play towards the one edge of each petal. It won't do much but it will just give it a little bit of a sheen. And then in the middle I'm using a dark pineapple punch doo -doo -doo -doo, to make that really pop. And those are my flowers. Using your snips just fussy cut them out quickly. I always find it easier to fussy cut using the inside of the blade down the bottom rather than the top bit. So you can just move the paper and your wrist around there and just get that done pretty quick. This set for me I think is really fascinating. They've got some gorgeous Hawaiian papers which are beautiful but the stamps are so gorgeous and you can colour them so brightly that sometimes you don't really need the DSP and you can just use a flower to make a statement. And once I've used a lot of bright colour, I do like to offset it with a little bit of dark. So that's why I've gone for a monochrome card with the petals on top. So it, it just gives it that bit of a pop, but it calms the rest of the card down without it going crazy. There we are, there's the one. the second one I always worry about talking through when I'm fussy cutting because as much as I like to fussy cut I like to concentrate and I always worry that if I'm chatting away I'm just gonna like chop a petal off without noticing or something the sort of thing I do when I'm distracted. I'm just going to leave those to the side so we can position those on when done. So this is my actual backing piece of cardstock. It's nine and a half centimeters by 13.8 centimeters and I'm using the palm trees that are here. This one I'm going to make them fit on that block because I've still got my flower on my E. There we go. I'm just going to stamp those in the corner there. I do like these, they've got a really good texture with them, so some of the leaves look darker and some of them look lighter. And then I've just got a piece of basic black that I'm going to run along the bottom. And I'm going to be heat embossing on this, so I'm just going to use my Stampin' Buddy. I'm going to put 
scrap piece of, of scrap paper to put this on so that my embossing powder doesn't fly everywhere. The stamp I'm using is Our Friendship is Timeless. And the mistake I've made is I've left my Versamark um, I've left my Versamark on the table where I do my craft workshops. So I'm actually going to stop you um, and give me like two seconds. I'll be straight back with you um, and I'll link the two videos together once I've got the Versamark because I obviously need shooting. And restart with the Versamark on the desk. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Right, so I'm using the Versamark and I'm just going to ink that up. Bossing buddy on my strip. And I stamp that down. Our friendship is timeless. It's just such a good sentiment. Um, white stamp emboss powder. that away before I knock it over. I'm out of breath now because I ran downstairs to get the verse mark and rushed back because of the video but obviously I put you on pause so I could have actually took my breath. <laughs> I honestly never thought. So I'll just grab my heat gun. For those of you who've got me on sound you might want to turn me down a bit while I set this. So I'm then just going to pop this onto a basic black background. So whereas this was 9.5 by 13.8, this is 10 by 14.2. If you're in America, you will need to change your uh, measurements because your cardstock is different sizes to us. Let's just take it down a quarter of an inch from your card base and a quarter of an inch from your top and you'll be fine. There we go. And then to build this up, I'm going to grab my card base. And whereas I would normally put this in the centre of the card base like that, I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. I've just noticed that that's scagged. So I'm just going to... What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to put this at the top. So I'm still going to go in the middle on the edges, but I'm going to take this right up to the top so I have a huge white gap here. Okay? So of being in the middle, it's right up at the top. Stick that down. And then just going to trim this. I don't really want it to go or need it to go all the way along, so it's not precise. I'm going to pop it up on some dimensionals. I'm using more dimensionals than I normally would. Because I've heat embossed this, the paper has warped a little bit. And I want it to be perfect straight. So whereas I probably only normally use two, maybe three, I'm using five to keep it all stuck down and straight. I'm going to pop all the way to the end of the card so it overlaps and across there and then I'm coming in with the flowers now this is going to overhang on the corners me show you. It's going to overhang on that corner and overhang down below. 
so it will be like that and then this one here is going to sit about there so you want one on that one Just going to grab some Tombow and stick that onto there so it sticks down. And that's the card. Open it up or turn it over, whichever way you want to do it. I'm going to open it and snip the end of that flower off and snip it there so it's straight so that it sits nicely on your side. That's the card. What do you think? I hope you liked it. I'm sorry that I had to rush off halfway through to get my Versa mark, but I think it was worth it in the end. It's such a great effect, I think. If you like this set, it's using the Timeless Tropical Cling Stamp Set that are matching dies and paper with these, all available from the mini catalog. If you'd like a copy, let me know, or you can head to slimandstylish.com. Go up to the banner at the top and click on buy to go to my store. If you do add any of these into your basket, make sure you're using my hostess code because I send out a little gift to anyone who has shopped with me that month and used my hostess code. See you all soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and check back for more. Bye.